What's up, everybody? It's Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today I want to come on here in response to a tag by Randy's WSG. I guess uh, he was tagged by somebody else, and then he tagged a few people, and I was one of those people. The tag is, what three knives would you take with you if you left your house and just went out and about or whatever? Um, so I will uh, link Randy's video in the description as well as tag him in the video title so uh i have a lot of stuff that i take with me when i go out i'm just gonna go over what i took with me when i just went away because um actually that's like legit what i took with me you know what i mean usually when i leave my house i have like one knife and i have a pouch and i have a knife in there and then i have another knife in my other pocket so but um today uh, i will do my pocket dump first before i do this and uh show you what i got so Today I got the Ganzo uh, that I've been carrying. I'm going to carry this probably for the rest of the month. I figured I'd try to get uh, a good use out of it and uh, beat the crap out of it, see how it holds up. It is the G6804BK. And uh, Florida Boy EDC actually told me that the Civivi clips fit on here, and I changed it and put on the clip from the Odium, which is super tiny, and it's actually really cool because it doesn't take up any space. Uh, very low profile, so that's really cool. So that's what I got. Um, I actually have... Super Tinker, um, the Dessert Warrior version by Blade HQ that was sent to me by Conan's EDC. So I have that with me. So that's super cool. The new wallet that I just got, it's by the House of Jack Co. I'm going to carry it for a few days and uh, then I'll go over it. It is a slim card wallet, minimalist. So I got that. Back to the leather. Uh, I kind of wanted to get back to that. Uh, I'm carrying the. Uh, Trustfire MC3. Uh, they wanted me to come on here and test it out, so they sent me um, the light. So shout out to Trustfire for sending that light over to me. And what else we got? I have my Alpaca Gear hub pouch in blaze orange because, you know, I need to be able to <laughs> see that. Like, I can't see it, right? If I drop it, at least I know where it is. Then I have a pepper spray, law enforcement grade, and I do believe that is all I have. Nope, that's a damn lie. That's something else in my pocket. Oh, my keys are in my pocket, so I got my, I got my keys in my truck, too. So that's what I got. So that's what I have on me today. Um, let's go over uh, the challenge from Conan now. So one second while I put this away. All right, so all that stuff's put away, and uh, it is not a challenge from Conan because I just said that. It's a challenge from Randy's WSG. So let's go over that. But check out everybody's channel. Check out uh, Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry check out florida boy edc and obviously check out randy at randy's wsg he's the one that tagged me in this so what three knives would you take with you if you leave your house so when i left and i went to uh south carolina i did bring three knives actually and uh the first one i brought uh was the real steel terra um larger knife g10 14c 28n liner lock uh it's got the uh the old uh, wire pocket clip got the thumb ramp i like that so this is it's got a crowned spine a really good knife full flat grind i use it basically as a folding kitchen knife like just basically a folding chef's knife so i always bring that um when i don't want to bring my old hickory uh outdoor 5.5 hunter so this is just easier to put in one of those pouches carry it with me and i'm good to go so when I left, I did take this with me. So that is one of the knives that if I go away or something, I bring this with me. You know what I mean? I just do. Um, you know, even sometimes I'll bring the, uh, the 5.5 Hunter and I'll bring that too. So whatever. But that's one of the knives that I bring with me. So uh, another knife that I bring with me is James Brand Folsom. Also fantastic full flat grind. Very similar type blade. Uh, it's a little bit pointier, um, but they're both drop points. Uh, both good for food prep because uh, you know that's kind of I use that a lot my knives for food prep like a whole lot so I like to have that slicey you know that slicey ability so this is a Folsom G10 uh, this is VG10 it's got the thumb ramp oh it's not a thumb ramp but it does have the jimping uh, smaller knife 6.75 but 
super ergonomic because that's what the James brand does. So I really like that knife and it came in handy. I went out to a, a place and they had this like super crappy uh, steak knife with a wooden scales on it and it was missing a rivet. So <laughs> the scales are like broke and it was moving. And like I had a steak that was pretty rare. So the knife like literally was cut and wasn't even cut. And it was dragging through it. So I was like, bro, I got to use my own knife. So I, I just took my own knife out and used it. And uh, worked fantastically cutting meat. So that is the other knife that I brought with me. And uh, the third knife that I brought with me was actually the um, SAK Spartan. Uh, but since I've came back, I've been carrying the knife I just showed as my EDC, uh, the one I got from uh, Conan, the uh, Super Tinker. And uh, I really like it a lot, actually. It's very useful. These scissors are fantastic. Um, you know, you don't think they're so useful. I carry trauma shears every day, right, because I go to work. Whether I'm working in the ED because I'm just about to start working in the ED or if I work in... Um, the school in medical, I just have trauma shears. Can't have knives, right? So you got to have something, and trauma shears are pretty useful. I have X shears. But when I'm not at work, I'm not carrying around X shears, right? I, like, just I'm not. <laughs> so it's always useful to have that extra pair of scissors. Uh, and, you know, also, it's really good to have this, you know, really uh, good three-dimensional Phillips if you ever need it, right? And then you have, like, you know, you have a flathead right there if you need that, or for a pry bar, a uh, smaller flathead can opener, you know, then you have your knives. Um, and then your extra tools back here, you have the parcel hook, you have the uh, the awl reamer, uh, sewing awl, uh, so that's useful. Um, so it has a lot of, like, useful things, and it's only, what, three layers, so then you have your toothpick, you know, and your uh, tweezers. I don't really use tweezers much, I kept cutting, you know, I cut splinters out with knives. Um, but the toothpick is definitely useful for cleaning stuff out, like you get, you know, stuff inside stuff or whatever, um, or you can even use it for SD cards, but there is a pin in here because um, the 91 millimeters have the slop spot for the pen, so I did put the pen in there, so I have that in there as well. So it's just super, super useful, um, but I'd have to say I mostly use the scissors on it, um, so they're super awesome. So that... Uh, that were that's what i carried when i actually went away so those are the three knives that i carried minus this but i did carry an sak so but if i was to go away again this would be probably what i take i'm on a daily basis you know i always carry um a victorinox recruit an sak um i have it in my pouch uh so i have a recruit in there and then i'll carry a knife and today like i said the knife i have is that ganzo so there we go that's the knife i have and then this i have in my other pocket so i have three knives right so if I leave my house today, which I'm going to because I have to go to my daughter's softball game later this evening, and we're going to dinner, I'll have an SAK Super Tinker, I'll have the Ganzo 680, G6804, whatever the name of it is, and then I'll have that uh, Victorinox Recruit in there. So my carries differ, they change. Uh, you know, I can't say that, hey, this is what I'm going to carry next week when I leave my house, but I always try to carry at least the Recruit. I always have the Recruit, so you can guarantee that I have the Recruit with me. Um, the other, and actually I, I pretty much will have that with me probably pretty much every time I leave my house. The only thing is pretty much going to change is like the actual pocket knife. So, uh, I know a lot of people have varying, uh, carries too. So that is what I, uh, would carry, uh, when I left and, uh, that's how I carry on a daily basis. So shout out to Randy's WSG, check out, uh, his channel and sub him up. Also, uh, I will link his video to the challenge. It is an open tag, so if anybody else wants to do it, I tag you too. So, so uh, just uh, put up your three knives that you would leave the house with if you had to leave. Um, if you do it, you know, uh, different carries, different days, different weeks, whatever, um, that's cool. But uh, if you want to join in, feel free. I will link his video and his channel. You guys have a good one.